guys, this is my new AirPods Pro second generation. Can you guys tell which one is the second gen? It looks exactly the same from the outside, from the box, from the inside. This is the second gen. This is my original first gen ones. And I will be showing you in this video the seven things that have changed in the new second gen that make this the best set of true wireless active noise cancelling headphones on the market today. So let's go ahead and unbox this for the very first time. Pretty excited to see the different capabilities of this. I've been really happy with my original AirPods Pro, but with the new second gen ones, it just takes it a tiny bit further. And let's go ahead and see why that is. Okay, so let's first of all talk about the size. You'll see they are pretty much identical However, there is a very, very minor small size to the case and the buds themselves on the AirPods Pro 2, as you can see in the dimensions listed here. To the naked eye, you guys will not notice any difference. You'll see the right ear tip is the new AirPods Pro 2. It's got much less of the blacks you can see on the design itself with the sensors there and just on the lower part. On the AirPods Pro 1, you'll notice that the microphone is just there on the top. This is now moved position to just the upper side of the ear tip here, rather than the front side here. In terms of the processor, the AirPods Pro 2 has the H2 processor. The original AirPods Pro 1 has H1. And what H2 allows you to do is deliver lower distortion during playback, along with much deeper bass and crisper highs. That's thanks to the H2 working with a new custom built driver and amplifier built in into the AirPods Pro. Next, you'll notice that the AirPods Pro 2 now has extra small ear tips, just giving it a little bit more flexibility to tailor for all different types of ear sizes, whereas the original AirPods Pro 1 doesn't have extra small, only small and large. One new feature that's been added to touch controls is volume. You can now swipe up and down on the earpiece to adjust the volume. If you swipe up, it will increase the volume. If you swipe down, it will decrease the volume, and that works pretty well. Next, the charging case has had some improvements. On the right hand side, you'll see there's a hole now for a lanyard to be attached. And at the bottom, you'll see on the AirPods Pro 2 that there's also now a speaker embedded into it. So this can actually play a loud noise when you do use the Find My app on your iPhone to locate it. Here's an example. I've got my Find My app open and I'm now going to play a sound and you'll start hearing it coming directly from the case. There you go, you can see that was pretty loud. It gives you three beeps and three confirmations for you to locate it. You can continue playing the sound from the app if you'd like to until you've actually found your case. Next, the battery life. The AirPods Pro 1 has 4.5 hours of playback time, whereas the AirPods Pro 2 has a slight improvement of up to six hours of continuous playback. And with the charging case itself, the AirPods Pro 1 gave you up to 20 hours of additional battery life, and the AirPods Pro 2 now gives you up to 30 hours. And with the AirPods Pro 2, you can actually now charge this using your Apple Watch charger. You simply just connect it to the back. There you go. It gives you a little confirmation beep and it starts charging. So that is a very convenient thing to have in addition to being a wireless charger, which is available on both. Now let's talk about the audio quality. With the new AirPods Pro 2, the active noise cancellation is referred to being as two times more better performance than the original AirPods Pro 1. With the noise cancelling microphones and a rear vent, which you can see just at the top of the tips here, the AirPods Pro 2 can then detect sound coming in and reduce how loud it is. Secondly, the adaptive transparency is also getting an upgrade in the AirPods Pro 2, as this will automatically minimize the noise of harsh sounds coming in. So if you walk past maybe an ambulance or a police car that has loud sirens, or you walk past a construction site and there's a lot of drilling happening, this will actually reduce that ambient noise and make it a little bit more adaptive transparency. And it's meant to work quite seamlessly, reducing noise at up to 48,000 times per second. Now we all know that the AirPods Pro 1 has spatial audio inbuilt into it. That's still the case with AirPods Pro 2, but now you can have something called personalized spatial audio. So if you go into your AirPods Pro settings just there, you'll see the option to have that right there in the middle. And with iOS 16, you can use the true depth camera on your iPhone to create a personal profile for spatial audio 
because the way we all perceive sound is unique based on the size and shape of our head and ears. So let's take these out and follow the steps. Now you move this across to your right ear. And now you do the same thing with your left ear. There we go. Completed, very quick and easy. And then now you have personalized spatial audio set up with your new AirPods Pro. And finally, the best thing I think about these AirPods Pro is the price. They've kept it exactly the same as the AirPods Pro first gen, which is at £249 or $249 based in the US. I think that's something great that they've done because in you know typical Apple fashion, you would have expected them to increase the prices as they do year on year on a lot of their products but having the AirPods Pro cost exactly the same. And I think in some places, if you do try to buy the AirPods Pro first gen, brand new, and maybe sometimes on the Apple websites, depending on your location, it would probably still be around the same price as the AirPods Pro second generation. So there's no reason why you shouldn't upgrade to this. With all of the seven things that I've just mentioned in this video, I think so far, these are probably the best wireless earbuds on the market right now especially in this price range so for me i'm so happy and they are definitely worth upgrading hopefully that was useful for you guys to see the differences between the airpods pro 1 and the airpods pro 2 if you guys have any other questions about these headphones then do drop a comment down below if you like this review make sure to like this video make sure to subscribe i have new tech videos out every week and i will catch you guys at the next one take care